should you pick up Starship Evo? Should Starship Evo be considered to be placed on your wish list? There are two of the questions that I had from recent friends who asked, well, you've had a look at the game, what do you think of it? So in this video, I want to take a look around some of the community's creations. In fact, we've got a lot of Bad Boy Kangaroos creations in this cool military green. We've got fighters, we've got dropships, we've got a large cargo vehicle, we've got hover tanks, we've got all sorts of cool things to have a look at. But before we do so, let's have a bit of a talk about that question. And it's all about the building system. And why do I like this building system within Starship Evo? Well, there's a few reasons. The first one is that you can use multiple scales of blocks within one ship. So, for instance, we've got four different scales and you can quickly switch between them. So, for instance, let's grab ourselves a triangle. And as you can see, we've got that scale. And if we press G, we've got that scale, that scale, and that scale. So, But it's not just that block, though. We can hold down and we can stretch out these blocks. We can hit R, stretch them long. And this allows us to create these really unique ships that a lot of other building games don't allow you to do because they give you limited blocks with limited functionality. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that you could build whatever you want you can craft each of these armor slopes you can find angles and ways of connecting these detail panels that you wouldn't be able to do elsewhere so this is a little drop ship and i'm going to show you some more of the functionality of it so we come around the back we've got this really cool ramped area that leads us up inside let's deactivate our jetpack with j j again and we can hop inside so now that we're inside the ship we can activate the ramp we can see that come up now this is a really cool ramp, this ramp actually folds at the top and then retracts in this section and you can see that there isn't any clip in between these two blocks and it's nice and secure. Into the dropship area we have doors on either side, so these little <laughs> areas drop out so you can quickly deploy troops if you want to. Look at that, that's cool, so that's like a two way sort of rotary hinge, it's hard to explain, it's like a track that it runs on and then it also rotates on like a hinge the more i get into this game the more i understand how these components work but i'm still learning so as we jump into the cockpit we can actually hit f4 bring this up into the air ever so slightly we've got our landing gears we can press g we track them up and into the hull wings fold out lots of moving parts this one actually has a volatile mode i think on number four so you can see we can turn our thrust down Really cool. Them turrets on the top look real badass. Right, let's bring it back to the ground. We'll activate landing mode. And we could also lower the ramp at the back for ourselves. So you can see how the ramp at the top bit extracts out and then hinges up. Back on the deck, hold F and exit this spacecraft. There we go. Let's get ourselves back into first person so it's a bit easier. So as we pop out the back here, there's also this. What is this you're asking? This is a locking system so you can lock things to the deck of a... Uh, the transports so you can lock crates or a small rover or whatnot we'll explore that a little bit further when we go down here now as we come aboard this this is a little like hover scooter so we'll jump into the chair grab controls we've got various other switches to activate lights and reactors we can grab control and it enters into hover mode so these hover scooters are just something else that you can build We'll scoot this scooter over down to the two little fighters. We'll be as careful as we possibly can as doing so. So you can also build some hover tanks, and I'll show you one in there in a moment's time. But I want to go on to flexible hoses. Flexible hoses, you might be thinking. Think about connectors. But imagine if with your connectors, you could move different components while still having them attached. Well, that's what we're going to be doing here next. So this ship here has these two wing segments. These are the flexible hoses and connectors that we were talking about. If we enter into our little control room, flick this, you'll notice these hoses flex out. Look at that, isn't that cool? So these hoses shorten and lengthen depending to where they're needed. So let's close that back up. Activate the button switch here. You see they retract in. So you can keep your weapons, charge ammunition or whatever you want going to them cell engines. Isn't that just a fun idea? Oh, I've also got a hover bike stuck in the back here. Just ignore that. And then there's a cargo container on the rear. <laughs> very, very cool. This one's also got this cool cockpit configuration. Let me just hit the button and see if I can access that as well. So this cockpit opens up. The seat lowers down. And then when we sit in here, I think this one's got a, detec a detection system to detect us. Oh, no, it doesn't. I think it's a button. There we go. That lowers the cockpit back over our head and we can start activating our flight systems 
switching our switches activate the power and we can take this thing up into the air but for the moment let's just lower ourselves back down and out thank you and then we've got another fighter over here now this fighter's got another really cool cockpit sort of retraction system so it's got these ladders or stairs that come out the side but if we close the cockpit from being inside like so you see the sides fold in and the ladders fold up like that really cool some nice detail look at the level of detailing though like to someone who's been playing other other sort of building games like this for a, a long period of time ha knowing that these are all components is mad so each one of these is a different piece that's been stretched extended and built in just to create the detailing so currently this game doesn't have multiplayer you can do multiplayer on it but it's not not simple as you'd probably like um but really, it's focused on the building, getting the building systems how you want to get them constructed at the moment. Let's bring it up through this front ramp if we can. There we go. There's our hover tank that we've got to unload inside here. So we'll load this up at the back here. Part that there. Go back into first person. That'll drop down to the deck. And then we've got these various different locking lugs, just like any cargo sort of tie down. And there we go, that's locked down to the deck. We shouldn't have any issues. Activate our systems. And here we go. We've got ourselves a nice hover tank that Aaron's probably going to ram into something else. <laughs> Come on, let's try and turn this thing around. Oh, not too much thrust. There we go. Let's lower it down the ramp nice and gently. Try not to break ourselves. There we go. We've got ourselves a hover tank. <laughs> oh, that was a bit more effort than I thought it was going to be. But it's a cool looking hover tank design that I like the thrusters. It reminds me of something from um, oh, Sergeant Bilko when they built their hover tanks. Nice slope at the front. Let's turn that off. Get ourselves out of the seat. Exit it. That's the rear door. And there we are. We're out of that thing. Very cool. Remote operated turret as well. So the AI can control that turret for you to shoot enemies. So let's take a look at this larger transport ship. So up here, we've got ourselves this really cool little bridge that overarcs the whole of the control area. You can see that we've got four seats at the back, two at the front. We'll have a look when we go inside a little bit further. We've got this sloped armor that comes down the side, the name of the ship. And you can see how each of these blocks interacts with each other and just arcs over. We've got some sort of pod or engine base cell to the side. I'm not too sure. And then over here, we actually have ourselves these little outward areas that store the landing gear so the landing gear is tucked with inside these pods and they close up you can see that we've got the front landing gear there and towards the side some nice detailed red missiles under here look at them they look dangerous don't they coming around the back let's come up through this rear thruster bay you can see how it's all been ribbed and detailed you've got lots of detailing going on within these segments and as we come up here you've got these sloped sections that all just intertwine and just creates such a level of detail and immersion in the ships like ev every area has some form of detailing and paneling on i think that's really important when trying to craft a detailed ship like this rear turret at the back like that with a little red camera very beautiful indeed let's have a look at what this ship can do and what its interior is like so we've got this main hangar bay and this hangar bay is like a drive-through hangar bay so it means whatever you bring in one way, you can drive out the front or drive off the back. It's got the locking pads that we've explored here along the front. And we've got the buttons here. So this button actually activates the whole of this ramp function. Let's see if we can enjoy it. So what it'll do is retract the lower part of the ramp in. That then retracts up and into the belly of the ship. It'd be fascinating to understand a little bit more of how that retracts into there or is it allowed to phase. This then wraps in. And then the beginning there closes up together. That exposes this little mini human access ramp as well that we can use. So that can lower down like so. I've got no clip on. That's how I'm able to get through these different blocks just to explore these features. And then the ramp comes down like so. So you can offload humans or a little, maybe a little attack squad or whatnot. So coming over to this rear door, we've got a similar system, but this door folds up quite a bit differently. So this one just extends like so. Well, it de-extends. Retracts is the word I'm looking for. And it just covers up that large hangar bay like so. Lots of detail on the bottom side of the ramp. We've got our scooter loaded up there to take to another planet. Once we're on our elevator, we can hit the key. Glass doors come down either side. And we can start going up the elevator shaft. This is one of these little rail, rail systems that a lot of the systems run on in Starship Evo. Very cool. 
And then as we come up in here, glass shutter pops down and we are in the cargo bay. Now what's cool about this cargo bay, each one of the cargo containers is on one of these little extending systems. So you can extend them out and retract them back in to access the various different cargo. As we come up to here, we've got some plants that seem to be growing. Open through this airlock. We'll close that up behind us or we'll just turn off the light by mistake. Turn the light back on. We've got like this little crew quarter area with these little rails running across the top there. Just so much detail compacted in. This is like a little oven that's been detailed. Coffee machine, sink, everything you could possibly want. What are these? Oh, these are little cabins. Oh no, are they toilets? So this is a toilet and shower block. That's been nicely detailed. Look, everything to the shower head because you can scale them blocks. And then they're closing them folding doors ahead. So up here we've got like a, a seating compartment for, I guess, long distance travel or transport over a longer distance with racks of various different bits of storage. Coming up into this area, we've got bunks so you could sleep aboard. This is going to be some long hauls. What's this one for? Oh, a little light between the beds. Very nice. We've got the bunks. We've got um, a med bay there in the middle as well. We've got some little, uh, I think these are little storage containers on the back of each deck. Very nice indeed. Really cool interior. So this is going to activate or turn off the light. And then we're up into that bridge that we saw before. So it's got the four seats at the rear and it's got the cockpit. So let's see which is a cockpit and which is a gunner seat. Okay, so this is control of the ship. Hit F4. This is a large ship, this. I can feel just how big it is let's bring it into the air a little bit let's have a look what controls so we've got cargo ramp options we've got laser options and we've got landing gear retraction let's attempt to retract our landing gears let's wrap this video up here it's been really fun looking at these creations and i was really impressed that the developer of starship evo decided to reach out after the last two videos and have a talk to us provide me with some keys and sponsor this video so i've got 11 keys for starship evo to give away and i'm looking for the best comment what sort of comment? Well, maybe the best comment talking about what sort of building features you like to see in these sorts of games. What makes or breaks them in terms of construction for you? Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.